hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel as we continue with the Kingdom of Aquitaine campaign with King Guillaume the Third, who is ruling over a very healthy uh, kingdom now, but one where I need to sort out a lot of hmm, crap, shall we say? Uh, so that's going to be the first port of call. I did say I'd do it off camera, but I thought, uh, you might, you might want to see what I do. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is I want to get rid of these two counties because I would like to keep Seville, if I can, um, and possibly Granada. But we do own how many duchies? Probably too many. Uh, but we need to consider what we actually own. So this place over here can go. Don't need Let's give it to someone half decent. Congratulations. Grenoble is part of the Dutch, our duchy, so that's fine. But similarly, if it's not really worth much to us, I would consider getting rid of. Um, this does give in... I mean, it gives in a decent amount, but there is a possibility for more. There is the possibility for more. So we'll also grant this away, um, and this is part of actually the Duchy of Barcelona, so I will give it to the Duke of Barcelona, because that will complete his sort of set. Now, who owns the Duchy of Valencia? You don't own both, do you? My friends, you need to chill. We'll give it to someone else that's not particularly good, and then we'll transfer him across. Because... We don't particularly need him. Now, the Duchy of Toledo. I've got someone... Oh, okay, we own the whole lot. Uh, let's see. The capital is where? Oh, the capital is actually not owned by us. Okay, so we can give the three counties then to someone in particular. That will seem half decent. We'll give you that... Madrid is part of it? Isn't that funny? Madrid is only considered a minor... A minor city for Toledo. Very strange. So you can have all four. Congratulations. Um, you are part of that, which is again something I don't particularly need. You're a nice pious guy, so that might help us. You can have that. What have we got? You're part of Cordoba. Again, Cordoba does have the Great Mosque of Cordoba. This is possibly... Maybe this is better than Seville to keep, actually. Maybe we try and hold on to this and make this our financial position. Unfortunately, he has... I guess, to be fair, okay, it's not the biggest, it's not the biggest county. Okay, I certainly want to replace one of these for the hill farms. But apart from that, we probably won't be replacing anything else. Seville, it's just nice because it has so many counties. But to be fair, Seville can go. Uh, it's probably worth us giving to someone that's going to be able to keep it together. Uh, I don't know if Malaga is part of it. No, it's not. So that's good. Malaga is part of Granada. So I need to get rid of about five more. Really, the only one in Granada that I particularly want is Granada itself. Do I... Okay, I don't particularly need these either. Orleans I can get rid of. 
Um, yeah, let's grant Orleans to someone. Have that and that. I don't need it. I'm looking elsewhere for my expansion. Okay, so this would be valuable for the port and the hills. This could feasibly have a port as well. Yeah. So we'll swap that for the port. So let's keep those two. Cabler. I could get rid of. That one's got farms. This one I could get rid of. Let's give that away. Cordoba we keep. <laughs> Look at that. They've invested heavily in Cordoba. Cabra. Eh, it's okay. What's going to give me more money? The fields or the hill farms? To be fair, the hillside farms. 1.7 at the highest peak. 2.6. Hmm. But then you have the addition of the trade port as well, which 1.7, so I should be getting more. That's what, 3.4 in total. So if that's the case, let's get rid of Gen or Cabra. I've already spent the money in Gen to get this converted. I bought that. Just get rid of Gen. Yeah, we can get rid of Jen. Uh, no, maybe not. What has he got as the duchy building here? Ah, oh, he doesn't. So I could make both fairly good financial houses for us. Mm, maybe I get rid of... I don't know. I need to get rid of two more keep. Two more keeps. Okay. Let's just continue for now. It might be that we'll be able to actually uh, just continue attacking anyway. This Albi's War is a little bit of a nuisance. And when will you get there? Six days. So we'll just follow you. We will ransom her. Oh, please catch him. Excellent. I can ask for more gold. Disabled lands in Cordoba. So, what's disabled? This is disabled because we don't own the duchy. So, I definitely want to own the duchy of... Cordoba. So we'll take that. And that's going to give us that, which we can actually increase. Which will be lovely. One thing that we do need to do is get those changed in terms of um... Oh, I can't think. In terms of... Culture. As soon as possible. To be fair, I mean, this is kind of a military... This has been set up to be a military. It's going to be too expensive to change, but we can still get some good um, perks from it. And money's not really a problem right now. What? Okay, you have, like, nothing. Go and get this much more quicker for us, please. Uh, is your wife your soulmate? She is, so we're not going to do anything there. Any vassals that are not particularly keen on us? Provence is not greatly keen. Right, that's going to markedly make a reduced time for this siege. Matilda, she can get trained by uh, my daughter, because she's not particularly good. 
His daughter could marry. Let's see if she gets... She could marry the King of Ireland. Heir to the Duchy of Valencia. It's not a bad marriage. Creates a nice alliance as well. Task finished. Promoting culture. A good man. Now I need to do the same in all of my keeps. It's very important. As is conversion. Now, does this... Lock if we change faith? I don't think it necessarily will. Which would be good. We took her prisoner, so let's get a little bit of cash out of her. Disband the troops, so we go back to our full rolling stack. There's that ding. End that. Thank you. And we've got 50 gold for that. So, Leon is still the capital. I, I still want to take Paris. And I do want Paris, obviously, to be our capital. Uh, I think when we take Paris, we will probably get rid of some of these towns, because... I don't know. I feel like the investment here, with the bonus of the tax plus three here, we can make an absolute fortune from these these holdings definitely oh, okay so this is part of cordoba so we do want to replace this with the hill farms definitely we're getting hill farms there we're getting a trade port there what are you doing don't do that i want you to be converted to the trade port Granada is fine, and I think what we will do for Granada is probably men at arms maintenance is pretty good. Yeah, let's try and get that. We don't hold the duchy though, of course. We are going to face pretty big rebellions down here. So that is something we are going to have to consider and deal with. I actually don't think there was much point in us hosting that hunt, but anyway, it's okay. Ah, a bit of piety, that's helpful. So if we go to war with you, it's only 6,000, and I can gain parry. Let's do it. Let's grab it now. I don't think there is much hope of him actually doing much damage to defend here. When we take Paris, we will obviously construct Notre Dame straight away. And we will also try and move our capital there. Which I think we'll be able to do. Because I don't think we moved it with this character. I think it was a previous character that we moved it with. But this will be a massive gain for us. To finally have our capital in the French capital. What is going on here? Right, there's a couple of counties that we actually need to take as well so there's a bit of cleanup to do in Spain um, and there is also a fair amount of work to be done just to clean everything up really Ooh, you're facing quite a few wars aren't you I'm hoping we'll capture the French king sadly we did not Where's your actual... Go, oh, it's this. Whoops. Actually, I don't even know if it is this. It might be that. Oh, it's that. That's a bit strange. We 
mean, we've got plenty of cash right now. Uh, we still have a fairly youngish ruler. He's 36. His health is fine. Plenty of kids, and he's going to pretty much inherit everything. We just need to ensure we clean up in Spain so that we're not, not going to have any worries there. So a little bit of work will need to be done, but that's okay. If we invest in the economy now, then it's going to benefit us in the long, in the long run. Right, that's the French capital taken. You're going for Syria. We will, of course, go and help in that fight. We definitely need to beat up the French army. If we can. Just for that additional war score. And let's appoint our... Daughter is not married matrilineally, is she? Oh, she is. That's fine, then. We took a half-decent hostage there as well. Who's giving me 25% war score, so I'm keen to hold on to him. The dynasty is developing, which is good. And we've got plenty of healthy investment going on here. Let's increase the barracks as well. A few months we can host a feast. Now this is going to be a big old loss for France. Valois is actually a massive. And he's managed to call in another king. But it's going to be too little too late, I'm afraid. Our troops are going to uh, outdo them. Ooh, we'll not stand for your vile oppression. Right. This is going to be rather a big rebellion. So it's a good thing that this war is now dealt with. Let's sell the mayor. Let's get you back as quickly as possible because we're going to need you. Enforce that. Right. Disband you because we can now move on. So Notre Dame will be, have to be built as and when. I think I'm going to get rid of... Okay, well, first of all, let's move... Ah, oh, we can't change it whilst we're at war. Okay, that's fine. Let's give this away to you. Let's give... How much are we getting? 31. Yeah, this is less interesting to us. So, we have oh, quite fat stack armies here, actually. Yeah. Very fat stack armies. I'm going to need at least the local and probably more. You can just disband. And we can call in allies, because it's going to be free. So we might as well just do it. Another 800 troops, why not? I suppose I could ask the Pope for that cash and get building on Notre Dame. Because we might as well. There 
Excellent. It's going to give us big old bonuses. That's probably going to do in terms of the gathering, guys. So if you can all merge up, that would be fantastic. I would like to stop Cordoba getting sieged. So let's start heading down there. So he's actually got 30,000 troops in this rebellion. It's pretty impressive. But we need to remember... A lot of them are unprofessional. Right, now it's too many. So we're going to need to sit and wait a little bit. <clears throat> I've got... Okay. We'll just raise all. We'll bring all the troops in. We'll just get this war done. They need to learn that they cannot just have their peace. We are now their new rulers. And unfortunately for them, they are going to have to accept it. Certainly want the best fighter that I have. Now we can pick up Administrator, which is lovely. And I'm expecting we'll be able to win this war fairly easily, this battle. I'd be surprised if we lose too many, although we are losing quite a few. Despite the distinct lack of commander traits and whatever else that he had. However... It's fine. That deals with it. Did cost us quite a bit of money. But that's okay. So they now can't uprise for a decent amount of time. Ah, can I move the capital now? Yes. Paris is now our capital. Um... Yes, what have you done? So Paris is now having built Notre Dame, which is going to take a little bit of time. We do need to upgrade the castle here because it's not the best defence. What I might do is pop in... Royal Reserves would be quite nice. New Chancellor is required. Let's get you in. Because you're still considered to be good. Ah oh, yes, we need to mop this up. Apparently we've got a truce with you, so I can't mop you up. Which is slightly annoying. But France now is quite resoundedly uh, weak. And another rebellion here. Are we still trying to convert? Yeah, we are still trying to convert. It's going to be a struggle, this. Right, we've got the crusade on. We're just going to send our local army. Do I have the crusader perk? I don't, so I could lead them myself. So let's swap out to me. I'm an absolutely rubbish commander, but that's okay. Because we're really only wanting it... <clears throat> Whoa! 60,000 versus 100,000. Blimey. There's a lot of troops supposedly involved in this war. I'm personally not seeing that they're all going to actually fight in it, but we'll find out. Tuscany's quite big. They'd probably be able to form uh, 
The Kingdom of Italy, no? Oh no, they need more north, that's why. So I'm only going to send the 5,000, but there's 20,000 papal troops already being sent. That's a good sign. Um, we need to mop up here, but that's okay. We can do that. Meanwhile, France is very much weakened. We've got the building projects going on in Paris. We will shortly get that Crusader perk, which will be nice and handy. Let's meet up with them. Ooh. Maybe sit and wait here. Yeah, because they just got absolutely booted out. Unlucky paper seat. Not your best uh, best display. We need to wait and see where the rest of the troops go. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have to end the episode there. The nice uh, sorting out in southern Spain. We've picked up some nice places. Uh, we'll hold on to Leon for now. Because we invested quite a bit into it, but hopefully eventually we'll pick up um, the rest of this duchy. And Paris will soon be the shining light in our kingdom. In the meantime though, if you are enjoying the series, then please do consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel to help us reach that 500 subscriber mark. And... If you do enjoy, then I will see you all in the next episode. Hello.